Generic greetings, and welcome back to Airships Conquer the Skies once again. In the previous episode, we made the Long Tankington, and it's okay. The problem with it essentially was that it is a big lumbering beast that can't really move pretty much on its own power. Um, we'll have a quick look, and you can see what it is. Uh, click on that, and uh, refit. Yeah, there we go. So... It's a big lumbering beast that really can't move because of... Well, it's got these four tracks, but if there's ground that's even a couple of blocks higher or lower, it just gets bogged down. Um, but what it does do well is bombard a very, very long range because it's got these four suspendium cannons. But it does have some weak spots, which we'll be resolving, hopefully, in this episode. And then, perhaps even... Um, well... My objective really is to take out the giant spiders at least, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm probably going to try and take over some of this as well, so let's just crack on. So first things first, we're going to click on Guildfield. We're going to go to Design Land Chip, Open Design, and then Open the Long Tankington. So, first problem, it burns, and it burns a lot. And that actually isn't the main problem. The main problem is that when these start burning, they then burn through into this ammo store, which then blows up, which we pretty much knew was going to happen anyway. So I'm going to remove the ammo stores. Might be a bit of a hack, but we don't need all of that ammo, I don't think. We don't need it all. Um, it's essentially just for um, these guns here, but these don't these don't take much ammo at all. I mean, how, how much does it use? Um, it does use... Let's have a look. Reload time, four seconds. Uh, oh, but it does use coal. Ah. Ah. That's why we ran out of coal and stopped firing last episode. Does it just... Does it just use coal is the question. I didn't check last episode at all when I put them in. I just placed them and said, oh, that'll do. So that uses coal. These use... Reload time, four seconds. It doesn't say. I think it will use coal as well. That's a problem then. We're going to have to ooh, have a fairly, I wouldn't say big redesign, but using coal, un unit of coal every 10 seconds means that with all of these, with all of these as well, it's now a case of, like, adding more coal to the place. And... That really worries me. Three fire points is needed. You have to have three fire points like that. Cargo door there. We don't have fire doors either. What I'll have to do... I might get rid of this flak. Do we really need it? Because it just blows up. The whole point is that if they get around to this point anyway, we're already screwed. So, yeah, what we'll do... We'll, we'll go to a... Fire door. It'll be in structural. And actually, we should have already removed. God, that was the wrong one. Undo, which is now an undo button, which is always good. Uh, we'll get rid of all of this. Like so. And we'll have a fire door. There we go. Now that should protect this, but only a bit. Because there is some gaps, like with this ammo here. We've got overlays and explosion damage. That's not too bad. Water, very good supply. Not at the front, but the back where we need it. So that's okay. And this fire will, this fire door will stop it spreading. Actually, nowhere. Now that I think about it, look, it's, it's not going to go anywhere. Oh, look, you can burn around the back. Well, I don't really care. <laughs> There's nothing there to burn. And this one stops it burning through this bit of ammo. But then, look, there's, it, it, yeah, there's no point in it. There's no point. There is a little bit, but in reality, we don't care that much. So, there's that coal sorted. In terms of getting boarded, we do need a fix for that. We also need the sick bear. We'll probably get the sick bear there. And how are we doing for main crew 22, recommended crew uh, 44, so we do need a lot more crew. This bridge, by the way, um, yeah, a lot of people didn't like. Which I understand, because it was just a, it was more of an aesthetic choice than anything else. But, uh, let's just get rid of these. Put 
that there. And crew quarters we'll put around like so. And then crew, we've got... We're okay, I think. Recommend a crew. 44. Ah, oh, we're actually overweight, though. Ah, oh, that's problematic. How many... And we've got no way to defend against attackers. See, we're not trying to make the the best tank that does everything possible. That's not that was not our objective. It was to make a long range bombarding vessel. But honestly, I think we might have overdone it last episode with the too much flak and too much um, too much flak and also too much. Uh, too much anti-boarding stuff. I think that will probably do us. Guard posts there would be nice as well. Like that. So if they do board in there, the guards will hopefully take them out. But it's overweight. By a little bit. Let's remove this. Remove these bits. We might be able to... Pare it down just enough. No. We'd have to remove one of the guard posts. Okay. That's fine. That's okay. Um, probably get rid of that corridor. Move it further in. And have the guard post like that. Right. That's fine. Save the design. We'll save it as version 2. Uh, save. And then we will not build it because we've already got one. What we will do is click on this. We'll say retrofit, open design, uh, the version 2... And we will re refit it. And because we've already got one there, it doesn't take long to build at all. So, giant spiders attacking Mark II. We've got the reacting tons. I don't think it would be useful sending those in. We don't have any zeppelins again, so we'll go to build ship. And we do want the zeppelins. And say, so, okay, this one up here, build ship. Uh, Zeppelin Mark II. Okay, and the one on the right, build ship. Zeppelin Mark II, or version 2. There we go. And that shouldn't take too long to build, I hope. Not when we speed it up, anyway. So it looks like they've just destroyed the spiders on the left. From here, they managed to destroy the spiders. But they are attacking each other, which is what we want. Let's move all of these things over to Guildfield. I always got to say Guildford. They're in Guildford. Giant spiders. Oh, we got another giant spider's nest pop up, which is problematic. Let's take out this giant spider nest first. Which is in the dark, which is what you want. You want to be fighting giant spiders in the dark, you know, just to make sure you can crap yourself. Um, yeah. Do you not like spiders? Do you want to fight them in the dark? Not particularly, if I'm completely honest with you. Let's start that, and we will immediately move those to about uh, there. This one is obviously going to fire against those spiders. There you go, straight away. We've got some long-range shots whizzing out. There's the big hail of bombs coming down. Die, spiders. There you go. Now, the problem we might have is board getting boarded. This one's getting pulled towards it. Yep. Yeah. Looks like the spider is coming very, very close to the Bombardington. I call, I'm calling it the Bombardington, even though it's the long-range Tankington. Let's go for a ramp, and here we go. And, yeah, it doesn't move very fast. And we are on fire again at the back, but you can hear the, the hissing of it, uh, putting it you know, getting put out. Uh, where's our other ship? There it is. I was going to say, it has to be around here somewhere. Um, it looks like we have managed to crush the spider, but at what cost? The ship has lost most of its weapons, and now it's getting boarded and almost certainly will be destroyed. But honestly, if I can destroy the spider first, we'll be okay. It's moving back away from the bombs. Smart choice. Mr. Spider. Or maybe Mrs. Spider. I do not know the gender of the spider. No, if I'm honest, I guess we've missed a spider because there's loads of baby ones around it. But maybe Mrs. Spider's doing something else and it's uh, Mrs. Spider's turn to look after the uh, the baby ones. Oh god, it's, pu it's pulling it towards us. Oh, that's not good! <laughs> this is a lot of... Uh, a lot of bombs and a lot of ramming and all sorts. It's just chaos. Absolute chaos here. But we are getting close to destroying it, I think. 
Problem is we don't have really the, the right weapon. We're not using the right tools for the job, I don't think. What we need is like a... Oh, well, looks like it worked anyway. Ideally, what we need is... There's that been destroyed, so we'll move back over to there and repair it. We need... Just like a gunship. We need a gunship, but we don't have them. Let's just repair these. It won't take long to repair them. Probably take while to repair that. Yeah, it is. So, it's uh, generic, and we're going to go to build land ship, and we'll build a long tankington there, because obviously we want to... We're looking at Fjorden now, going right. You're the next target, mate. Spies active at uh, Catbridge. We'll view the city. We can see it's only got... Oh, it's got these loads... It's got little defences at the back, so we'll leave there. We'll take our reaction vessels over to Catwick. And how fast can we get to Catbridge is the question. Do you think we'll be able to take it in one go? I don't know. This guy is slowly moving down and obviously he's got a thorn on his side. We want to definitely take out this other giant spider nest. We haven't got any... Oh, we've got a grip. Shottington, which is like a very, very small... This is something we made in the... Uh, the single episodes. The... Um, Standalone ones. It's essentially a grape shot uh, fighter thing. Block Gunnington, Chop Fighterington, the that's the Bombardington. Silly design that it is. What I want, uh, I want to. I, I really like boarding in the game and I really like torpedoes. I hope. I really, 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 really want boarding torpedoes. So it is just a torpedo that fires like the other normal aerial torpedoes. But um, what it actually does is uh, have a. It has, like, crew inside, like, two or three marines or something. And when it crashes into the ship, instead of taking loads, doing loads of damage, it'll just put a hole in the ship, and then you'll board inside it. Um, that's, like, you've got... That's on 40k in uh, Battlefleet Gothic, so... I really, really want something like that. That would be cool to see. Uh, why can't we attack the giant spiders? Maybe we need to be in a different area. I don't know. We can't attack the giant spiders, and it's really bugging me why we can't. Maybe, yeah, we, we can't... Oh, because there's no... There's no way to move with the uh, the long tankington, which is a shame. We'll move the long tankington over to here. Uh, you caught a foreign spy trying to sabotage construction. Ooh, cheeky, cheeky. Right, so this is the spider, one of. We're going to move the... Actually, we'll keep them like that. This is our fleet of bombers, and we're just going to go over the top, and hopefully... We will go right over. Come on, go forward. We need to get the bombs in range. It's backing up, and I, I'm not surprised at all because... Oh my good grief, look what's happened here. It's pulling the top one down. But because of the the stacking, it's pulling the others down, and the suspendium rock was keeping me up. But yeah, it's backing up because it knows what's coming. That's coming. It's just a hail of bombs. And we might even have a ram here on our hands. Mm. There's the ram. Oh, there's the bombs. It's still trying to pull these down. It's still got the spiders as well. Look, the little ones. There's more bombs away. And... Whoa! Yep, yeah, that's starting to hurt it. I'm still losing suspendium tanks. But these tanks are sort of ablative anyway. But we're getting a blade of ships at the moment. We're just crashing into it now. Which is the great shame of it. <laughs> Come on. We'll get there in the end. And more explosions. More explosions. Is it going to take... The spider's really tough in this game. And we are boarded. The top one is boarded. We do need to go up as well. But this is... It is damaged. I mean, I think it's going to take one more wave. Or one more pass of a bomb. Um, and we should be able to take it out. We're actually more... I, don't, I didn't realise how close in... We are. There we go. We managed to take it out. Very, very close in them. Um, they do have little spiders there, but it's not really going to matter. And they're gone, finally. So we'll move those over to Kudair. And we will... I thought they were attacking me. They were actually going to Fjorden, which is an interesting one. We'll repair those, and it's not much of a repair. Yeah, you can see what was happening. This guy actually started to attack Fjorden. And I think I know why they're doing that. They're attacking Fjorden because they have something in Retropolis... They have a vehicle of some kind, maybe multiple of them, but they can't get them on the beach. They need to control the beaches first, so that if they take Fjordan or Sigan, they can do it. But that's why I need to guard uh, Catwick, because they can come this way. 
which is why we're going to keep the Reactingtons there for now. So yeah, that was interesting, them doing that. Right, so, prepare these Zeppingtons. We do have a fairly mucky mixture of vehicle uh, vessels here. Don't know if we're going to be making any more. I think it's mainly a case of trying to take stuff over. What I'm going to do is attack. I'm going to move over here with the reacting tons. I want to get to about there. I will invade and go, ha, ninja! Uh, <laughs> because I can. We'll start that straight away. And we're going to move right over here. And obviously these are the reacting tons. Super fast assault boats. Straight across. As soon as we get there, we will say down, and then they go straight down, and then because of the stack, right, watch this, you tell them to attack, and what will happen is, the top ones will jump on the second one, then they'll jump on the third, then fourth, and you can see they're jumping all the way around, and then we'll board it. And it won't take long for us to take that over, and captured, and gentle takeover. Right, so that was quite fast. The enemy sabotage construction of the long tanking to version 2 in Generican. So they've, oh, they've reduced the, uh, they've reduced it a bit. Interesting. Right, so what have they got here? View City. They've got a ram vessel, some sort of, I think, boarding and boarding, melee vessel, and all of this, which is the problem. Right, okay. So, build Reactington. You build Reactington. You build Reactington. <laughs> Because these are great. And what else have I got? What, what did I get there? I got mech spiders there. Ooh, right. We might even we might even change then the uh, the reacting tons. We might retrofit them. Because if you've have you actually seen? I don't know. I don't know if you've seen it. I I, I have seen them before, but I'll show you what they're like. Um, we'll go over to design ship. And we'll open a design. Reactington. A spider bear. These mechanized terrors can tear apart enemy crew with ease, but are too simple to defend or take over ships. So they're like, you essentially drop them. They just go thump and just go and attack stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, they do a lot of damage, but they don't take stuff over. I think we're going to have to make a, a version of this, which is just one of these as well. I think it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Pull all these forward. Get rid of those two. Spider bear. One, two. And there we go. Uh, save design. It's the... Spiderington. There we go. And we'll build one. Because why not? And we'll see if it works. Bit more expensive, I think. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Um, we'll max speed it just to see, just to get it sort of built quickly. There we go. We'll move it over to there. And they're still attacking. Look, still moving stuff around, still attacking. Oh, that guy's probably going to get repelled, surely. Oh, he didn't. That's worrying. There was at least one airship and one ground vessel and maybe even a defense there. Mm, yeah, there might have been. No, there wouldn't have been defense because he's just taken it over. But he's just being repelled. Interesting. Okay, so loads of Reactingtons, Spiderington, let's invade and see if we can take this guy out in Capbridge. So, we have a lot of vessels. <laughs> um, we're going to move this one further down. This one, oh god, look at the amount of... There's a lot of uh, Suspendium rocks, so we're going to have to be very careful here. We'll start this, pause it, move these ones right over to there. This one, we will say board that... And the spiders will immediately move ready to go. This one will move forward. And here we are. They'll jump off. See that? Look at that. Yes. Little spiders. I say little spiders. They're massive. And they will just go around and mince the crew. These ones are getting shot to hell. But we're going to bring them right down. And then we're going to order them to board everything. So once they're here. Right. We will go for you. They're not, they're not low enough. I said low. Mm, they're not low enough, but okay, we'll see what we can do. You board that. You board that. You board that. And you do the same. You can have that one. And you can have that one. And then you can have the far end one. And finally that one can do the same. 
Okay, so we might be able to bar them, I don't know. Uh, that one has been destroyed, which is fine. We will... Oh, I think the spiders are... Oh, yeah, look, they're just jumping around. Oh, my good grief! Um, I wonder if we can control these things. Or, they, or do you just release them? I think you just sort of release them and then it just does its own thing, which is worrying. Right, so over here, we will move these down like so. So we can start boarding. There you go. They're all starting to jump around now. That one was getting boarded, but this massive machine has just, uh, well, as you can see, charged forward and crushed its own defense. But we have now managed to capture one, two, three, mm, and a half uh, defenses. <laughs> but uh, the one in the center is getting pounded, which is good. This guy is maybe an issue. We'll move him forward. Where are the spiders? I don't know where the spiders are. These are just... Oh, I think they've just destroyed those, you see. I'm going to move on top of it and crash into it, you see. Ram. <laughs> there you go. There's no reason why I can't just sort that out. Oh, look at that. Um, this is plowing through its own defences. With, actually, great success. But I'll be honest. It's destroying all of its own stuff. These things just cause absolute chaos, don't they? They really do. I'm trying to squeeze on top of that. Or trying to mate with it. I'm not really too sure. Yeah, these things, they just cause absolute carnage. They just turn up, board everything, shoot the shit out of stuff. <laughs> oh, good grief. Right, can we board, can we board it? We might be able to board it. Then we can jump out. And do they get stuck? Yeah, they get stuck. Great, just what we wanted. Although, to be fair, it is burning quite well. Um, it is getting put out. I think it does have some fire point. Yeah, it does have a fire point there, and it is raining as well. But it's got no tracks anymore. And remember, these do have weapons. They've got a little grenadier there, look. See the little grenades? Here we go. And whoop, little black dot comes out. <laughs> Flings a full stop at them. This one, however, is giving us a bit of an issue. It gives us a bit of a headache, actually. It's not getting destroyed. We're trying to ram it. We're trying to just jump on top of it. Look. Up. And then... Down. Nope, it's not working. <laughs> this is still a legitimate um, vehicle, apparently. We're going to ram this to there. Although, it's not moving. We'll move these over to there. Turn them around. And we'll uh, get the grenades going. Move a bit further forward. There we go. And we'll just we'll just fling grenades at it. Because it's not very well armed. Not sure why that one's not moving. I don't know why. Oh, it's got no engine, of course. The engine's broke. Okay, that's finally gone. Uh, victory! Reacting to an only one mobile. The rest's fine. We've uh, just captured the Grey Pillar. We've captured the Radiant Fortress. We've disarmed a Radiant Fortress. Uh, Fortress. The Iron Fort we've captured. Radiant Fortress again we've captured. And then the um, Graham Hound Challenger surrendered. And the Invincible is disarmed. And gentle takeover. And we've taken the island. Wow. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. We've now got brigands over here as well, which is an issue. Let's just check the defences here. Are there still defences? Yes, there are. That's fine. Over here, Catbridge, we're taking it. There's nothing to uh, destroy there, because there's no pirates or anything. However, we do want to take out that mad scientist and that brigand as soon as possible. In fact, the brigands are attacking Kranzberg. And they have that. Really against these. Okay, I'll take the Pepsi challenge. No problem whatsoever, pal. T raid complete. Yeah, the raiders were repelled. Really? Weather? I wonder how that happened. Right. Attack. So what have they got? Oh, look, they got a little mini fortress. Looks like a shoebox with a toothpick on it. Right, you get an attack, mate. Here we go. Move forward. Get the, get the stationary thing first. Yeah. Deserters and criminals preying on the weak. Wipe them out. Yep, we are. Um, actually, what tends to happen is these turn up and then, yeah, explosions. Not because of the bombs they're dropping, but simply because of the... Uh, simply because of the suspendium breaking. I'm taking them higher up, and the reason for that is essentially you get a better arc. The closer you're in, it's uh, harder to 
get the target in arc with all of your guns. That's a problem with making it wide. Ammo. Oh, God. Ammo star cap fire. Oh, there we go. There's um part of my ship splitting in two. No, no, it is one of the, one of the Zeppelins. It's completely destroyed, actually. Completely destroyed. There's no way that's coming back. We're still bombing. We're on normal fire for them both. I think we'll go for a... Uh, why have I aim fire? I think rapid fire is probably the best, isn't it? How much ammo have they got? We'll check first, actually. Um, that one. Ammo is... Loads. I've got loads. Fine. Rapid fire. Move down to there. And change this one to rapid fire as well. It's not successfully... This is the problem with bom the bombs is that when they work, when they hit the target, great. When they don't, they just cause a lot of carnage, a lot of explosions that look really cool in the game, but actually don't do anything. Still elevate. Oh, there we go. That hit the target. Right, let's move these back over. I'm just trying to... I'm just making them surrender. That's all I'm doing here. Victory, there we go. And we've destroyed them. And as the brigands are sent back to chains to stand trial for their crimes, your troops raise their base. A few valuables are found and add to the Imperial Treasury. 200 credits. Don't really care too much about that. Um, but, you know, because I've got a lot of money. So, we will... Uh, we lost a Zeppington, so we'll so build ship and we'll build Zeppington version 2. And we will go for the same over here. Build ship and Zeppington V2, and we might be able to get another one, build ship, and Zeppington, no we can't, we're just a little bit off, I know we're miles off, we're going to 71 credits. In Kuda, we've got all of these reacting tins and stuff, which are very, very good. We have, what have we got over here? We've got mech spiders there, and we've got cheap steel, which is minus 50% steel armor cost, that's very, very good. We've still got the mad scientist to deal with, which for some reason we can't move to, which is an interesting choice of the game, like, like, not allowing us to attack it. But we can attack uh, Fjorden again with all of this. But actually what I want to do is attack the Mad Scientist with just the airships. So let's see what happens. So, what have they got? What on earth is that? Well, we know what these are. But what is that? I have no idea. I guess we'll find out next episode. When I actually fight this fight. Is that a dick move? Yeah, it is a dick move. Let's start the fight and see what happens. <laughs> it's firing... A long range... Plot, like... Tesla thing. By the look of it. And they're absolutely destroying me. Oh my good grief. Yep. That thing is shocking. That's it. Dead. Wow. Mad Scientist Tower has this essentially... Um, Tesla not even a Tesla coil it's a Tesla doomsday weapon the prophesized and never ever made weapon where you fire it and it just, just <laughs> completely destroys anything it hits wow okay um, that is a doomsday weapon of some kind defeat yeah we've lost the Zeppington V2 and the mini Zeppington 2 of so next episode We'll have to see if we can attack it by taking Fjorden and coming back over. I don't know if we can do that, but we'll see what happens. As always, comments in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.